everybody top water johnny and in this top water bass lure review i'll be fishing with the mega bass prop darter i loud let's check it out whoa there we go yeah whoa holy cow folks top water johnny here man this is what we came here for look at that get back here that right there. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here. want to welcome you to my next video here. In this video, we're doing a lure review of the Mega Bass Prop Daughter I Loud wake bait and in this particular one i'm really excited about it because not only do i love doing top water i also love those wake bait lures as well those get really great action as well so i'm really happy to be doing this lure review want to show it to you before we go and do a little deep dive into it but look at that beautiful thing right there that is a beautiful thing right there that is the wake bait right there and it has such a great look and design to it. And whenever you're talking about Mega Bass, you can already know that there's going to be quality with a Mega Bass lure. So what we're going to do is do a little deeper dive into this lure. So I'm going to do a closer look at it and talk about it. And then I'll come back and give you my thoughts on it. All right. All right. Here it is right now. Here is our eye loud right now. The Mega Bass lure. And as you can see, it's about four inches long in length. It also weighs about an ounce. So this has really a lot of size and depth to it. It's actually just a, a really good lure in its construction. As you can see here, I chose the bluegill pattern. It has a actual jointed piece right here. Got the prop and propeller in the back. It's got big, strong hooks here on the front and in the back here as well. And it's just... Overall, as you can see here, got the bluegill pattern, with, so the blue is on the bottom right here. That bill is cup-shaped down because that is a wake bait, so it's going to definitely stay toward the surface, have a lot of erratic movement, and make a whole lot of, a whole lot of noise when it's coming across the surface to draw up and bring up those bass, hence the word I loud as part of its name. So this definitely is going to be a fun lure to throw and have experience with. So I just wanted to give everybody a closer look. All right. Okay, everybody. As I mentioned before here, let me fix this little mirror. There we go. As I mentioned before here, we're talking about the Mega Bass. And I got the box right here. The Mega Bass Prop Daughter I Loud here. And once again, I'm just going to kind of hold that up here so you can see that right there. This is a big lure right here, just so everybody knows. It's four inches in length, and it's about an ounce. So this is definitely a big lure. Now, when you look at it here, notice this. There is a lot of noise going on in there. As well, as you can hear that, there is a lot of noise being made as this moves across. Got the propeller in the back of it. The bill is cut low, so that means it's going to be more of a surface and wake bait type lure definitely great pattern great design as always it's all about matching the hatch matching the movement so when you're fishing for bass and you're using this type of lure right here realize if they're hitting bluegill whether it is up shallow or even out in the middle of the water this kind of lure will bring them in and get them to take a strike at it because this one right here just is made so well for Mega Bass. So I, I've always had a great experience with the Mega Bass products. And so I'm really looking forward to getting this lure out on the water and fishing with it and testing it. So I just wanted to do here was kind of get us started here. I want to take it out on the water now, do some testing, then I'll give you my thoughts on what it's really about and what I think about it and what kind of equipment you might need to use in order to fish with this. Now, one thing for sure here is that whenever you're throwing a, a lure that's an ounce, that's a heavy lure for most of us. So you're going to definitely need 
a rod and a combo that can handle that kind of weight and that kind of just that kind of weight of that type of lure. So I'm always fishing with braid. So I'm going to be fishing with braid on this, and I'm, and that's going to be about 30 pound braid. And I'm going to be also using one of my bigger rods here, one of my Corrados that can handle that kind of torque and that kind of weight of that kind of lure, just so you know. Now, also, please, if you are new to the channel, I want to say welcome. I'm glad you're a part of the channel now because I'm definitely trying to do my best to provide those that have been with me and those that have just joined with me some of the best content on YouTube as it relates to fishing. Please like, subscribe to the channel if you're not a part of the channel. Even if you're listening to this on Facebook, Please make sure that you like the page and you follow the page. So no matter wherever you are, you can stay connected to me as I do this. So once again, what we're going to do is take this lure out, get it out on the water, do some testing on it. With any luck, maybe catch some fish with it. We'll hope, Hopefully we'll see. And I'll give you my thoughts at the very end. So once again, this is Topwater Johnny saying that phrase. Keep your line tight because when they hit those topwater lures, and especially with a lure like this, it's going to be a big bite. Enjoy the rest of the video. Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny here, and we are out at a little lake here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run our test on the Mega Bass right here. The Mega Bass Prop Darter Eye Loud. So we're going to go ahead and run our tests on this right here so that you guys can see it in action. And I'll definitely give you my thoughts on it, but I'll be fishing with it, and we'll see what it does. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started here and throw it out. And we will see what it does. But as you can hear, it is noisy. So let's go. So I've got it out there. Let it sit for a moment. Start bringing that back in. And it's definitely... I don't know if you can see it's got a good it's got a wake to it for sure. It is a wake bait. And as I reel it in, it's got a rattle and a noise to it as it comes in, definitely. I now know the ways reason why they say I loud, because it actually is pretty loud. And if there's something out there. This lure is going to get it, get it noticed. As I reel it in, those propellers, those props in the back are clicking along. And it's making a lot of noise. It caught some weeds here. Got the shallows, all right. All right, so what we're going to do Take it down here a little bit further. So once again, just throw it out there. Let it sit. Let the rings dissipate. Start bringing that back in. See if something's out there that wants it. But like I said, it's a prop. Makes a lot of noise. And it has great action. Let's see if we can get that in closer for you guys to see here. When it's, as you can see when it's in the water there. As you can see, the propeller's moving. Let's do it again right here. As you can see right there, I'm going to go fast. And it has a definitely that propeller is rocking and it's weaving back and forth. So there's a lot of noise to this lure right here. And this lure is definitely designed to, if they're around, is to bring them up from the deeper parts of the deeper parts of the lake. And hopefully, you know, get them to investigate it. One more time out there. And it handles the current well. 
handles the current and the waves well. You can stop it, pop it. But this one is really a bigger lure designed to just have a steady, steady retrieve with it. As you can see right there, side to side, steady retrieve, side to side, steady retrieve. So, like I said before, side to side, steady retrieve. And like I said, this is a definitely a noisy lure. It is jointed, as I mentioned before, prop baits propeller. So there is, there is prop baits and there is a lot of noise. These hooks are truly sticky and it makes a lot of noise. So what I'm thinking is that I'm fishing it during the daytime right now, but I bet you if I were to fish this in the evening or early morning, this would get a lot more action. So I'm not going to give up on this lure, but my review of it is right now. I'm doing my review now, but you're going to see this lure again and you're going to see me catching fish on this one because this one by Mega Bass is a really good lure. And it really has capabilities. You just got to know what time of day to fish it. And I think right now is the wrong time of day to be fishing this lure. But I will come back again and address that. So there you go, everybody. The Mega Bass Prop Darter I Loud right here. All right. There we go. Right on the drop, everybody. Surprise, surprise. Right on the drop. Huh. Look, that is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look at that. This little bass decided. This little bass. Try that again. I decided to throw, everybody. I tried to throw a smaller weight bait. This depths right here, bluegill pattern. And this little bass right here decided that he wanted to hit this thing right here. That is, that is crazy, man. But he made it onto the show. So we were doing, so I'll just show it to you, everybody. This was the other wake bait that I was fishing with. And I just thought that I would try it out along with the Mega Bass darter, you know, darter prop. I loud, but I thought I'd throw this one, kind of just to throw, and I got this one here. So he hit it. So I just proves to you, hey, the power of these little wake baits. All right. Something else I want, something else I also want everybody to notice is that on this lure, I'm using these. Look at the treble hooks I'm using on here. These are actually trapper treble hooks. So these weren't the hooks that came with this depths wake bait bluegill pattern, but I changed them out with the trapper hooks. And so much definitely effective and he struck at it and we got him in. So I just want to show everybody, sometimes you have to change out those treble hooks to make it work. All right. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. And this completes our review of the Mega Bass Prop Darter iLoud. And in this actual review, what's what was so cool and surprising was that I tried out this little lure right here. This is the Depths wake bait. So it's its own version of a wake bait here made by Depths. And I was trying that one out to see if I could get a bite on a little bit lesser, more finesse type of weight bait. And lo and behold, during my review here, we got a bite and we actually caught one on the depths here. As I mentioned before, as you can see in the depths, there are this lure here. I changed out the hooks and those are trapper hooks that are currently on there. So I just want everybody to see that those are actual trapper hooks on there that you can see that I replaced it with and I was able to get a hit off of it. So what I've learned regarding the Mega Bass first is that probably early in the morning or late, late at night in the evening time, that might be the best time for it because it's such a powerful and loud lure, makes a lot of noise, creates a lot of commotion. Whereas that depth was a little bit more finesse, still made a lot of noise, but a little bit more finesse for those smaller bass to key in on. And maybe that Mega Bass was a little bit too intimidating at this particular time but i'm going to keep fishing with it because i really believe in that lure and i know it's going to catch a really nice fish on it so once again i just wanted to 
give you some insights on some different types of lures. This was a surprise. Didn't know I was going to be doing a little commentary on depths, but you saw it in action. You saw that it does work as well. So once again, please like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight, because when they hit those topwater lures, it's going to be a big bite. All right.